What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. One of the biggest misconceptions about a metal coil and sheet supplier like Sheffield Metals is that all these coils and sheets are already on the shelf ready to be picked up by customers. In reality, Sheffield Metals is not just a metal distributor. There's actually an entire processing production operation. Today, I'm gonna pull back the curtain and show you every step of producing your metal order. If you're a metal roofing contractor or fabricator, you're used to coils and sheets that are already cut to the size you need for your project, but they don't start there. They come into a Sheffield Metals facility as a huge master coil, 40, 44, sometimes 48 inches wide. But before they get to production, Sheffield purchases coils from a steel mill that are then sent to a paint coating line and finally shipped to Sheffield Metals to be cut to standard widths and custom orders. Once the metal's in our building, orders will flow from our sales team to our production team, who will then select the right master coil to be processed for your order. Typically, we'll use coil that's been sitting in inventory on a first in, first out basis to make sure the coils keep moving. Sheffield Metals facility is made up of a cut to length line and a slitting line. This is where the coils and sheet orders are produced for customers. Let's start by seeing how coils are slit to width. Once your order comes in, the operator will pull the right master coil that matches the material type, thickness, and color. The operator will prepare this slitting run by loading the master coil onto the machine, prepping the slitting heads to the desired width, uncoiling the first couple wraps of the master coil, and feeding it through the machine. The majority of coils will be slit in half for standard sizes. The operator then runs the master coil through the slitting heads to the recoiler at the end of the slitting line. Cardboard cores are loaded onto the recoiler and the coil is attached there. And then the operator starts up the machine to begin producing the order. One of the important jobs an operator has is to make sure they're inspecting the metal as it's going by to look out for any defects before it gets sent out to a customer. The operator then brings the machine up to speed to produce the full length that you requested in your order. The metal is then sheared and taped down for shipping. The coils are also covered in stretch plastic, which helps protect them during the rest of the production process. From there, the slit coils moves along to a spinning tree, which can have two, three, or sometimes four arms based on the specific machine. After that, that, it's flipped vertically so the eye is to the sky and then it's put on a conveyor belt to get it ready for shipping. The slit coil is then placed on a skid with bands, a label, and an outer layer of film for added protection. Then it's ready for shipping. On the slitting line, metal coils are cut to standard widths. The most common cuts are 24, 20, and 16 inches. One thing that Sheffield's production team does is make sure to batch similar orders together so that the operators can stay in rhythm throughout the day. For instance, all 24 inch coils will be slit on one day and all 20 inch coils will be slit on another day. The more batching operators can do, the easier it will be for them to keep production efficient to make sure you get your order as quickly as possible. Every time a changeover is needed for a different slitting size, it will take time to set up a new slitting head, which can slow the process down considerably. The more changeovers you have in a day, the less production time you have. Sheffield Metals also fulfills custom orders. Custom orders that fall outside the standard widths are scheduled for additional time because they will require additional setups. Sheffield can fulfill a wide variety of customer orders. Just keep in mind that unique customizations may require additional production time and drop cut fees. Let's move over to see how 4x10 flat sheets are cut on the cut to length line. The cut to length production line deals with leveling and cutting metal sheets to the desired lengths for customers. The material is fed through foam rollers, which cleans the material of any lingering dirt and grime before it is unrolled by the CTL machine, flattened, and cut to the standard or custom length. These sheets are then transferred to the end of the machine where they're stacked in a pile. One of the biggest differences between the coils uh, slit to width line and then the sheets cut to length line is that the flat sheets need to be leveled. That's because metal has a memory. That's why we have to make sure we level the metal before we slit it into a flat sheet. Otherwise, it's gonna to wanna to retain that memory of being a metal coil. Since the cut to length line deals with shorter amounts of materials, scheduling can be a bit less intensive than the slitting line. Like the slitting line, Sheffield Metals can fulfill custom orders for a wide variety of dimensions and colors. If you need to place an order with Sheffield Metals, check out sheffieldmetals.com to find the branch closest to you. Otherwise, subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.